In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Current User Filter web part. This web part uses the name or other profile information of the currently logged in user as a filter for displaying items in the list. In our example, we will use this filter web part to only present documents to a user that they have created or edited. I am working on a sales page which contains the Proposals Library web part. As of now, anyone who views this page can see all of the proposals. I am currently logged in as Michael Scott, the manager, and I would not only like to limit the view of these proposals to the salespeople, but I would like them to only see the proposals they have created. I will use this filter web part to do this. The filter web part will match the name of the user who is logged in to the name in the Modify By column in the web part, then only display those documents where the names match. Once this filter is in place, I will only see the two documents uploaded by Michael. The library web part is already on the page, so the next step is to insert the filter web part. To do that, go to the Page tab at the top, then choose Edit Page. This filter must be added to a web part zone. It will not work if added to a rich text area on the page. So I'll add this filter to the same web part containing the proposal library web part. So in that web part zone, I'll click on Add Web Part. In the Filter Categories list, I'll select Filters. And in the Web Parts list, I'll choose Current User Filter. And then I'll click the Add button. The Filter Web Part is added to the zone at the top above the title. The Filter Web Part will not be visible once I exit the Edit Mode. It also does not even have to be in the same zone as the list it will be filtering. However, I will move it below the title just so it is next to the library list. There are two parts to this filter. First, we need to connect the filter to the list it is filtering, which is the proposal library. So to do that, I click the plus next to this filter is not connected. And then following the instructions it provides, I click the menu for the web part, select connections, send filter values to, and then choose the list, which is proposals. In the connection dialog box, the first step is to choose the connection type. And we'll just leave this at get filter values from. And then click configure to go to the second step. And here you choose which field in the library contains the user's name that it will match for the filter. And this is where I want to choose modified by. And then I click finish. Now you'll notice there are now no documents displayed, not even the documents that the user I'm logged in as, Michael Scott, had uploaded. And that's because there's one last change I need to make. The way the names are configured to display on this site is as a full name, as shown here in the upper right for the user menu. Not as the name they log in with, which might look something like Thunder backslash M. Scott. So if your site is configured like this, you will need to do one more step to specify in the filter to use the full name of the user, not their login name. So to do this, we click the plus next to this is context filter, and then click to open the tool pane. In this select value section, we need to change it from the current username choice to SharePoint profile value and then we select the value from this drop down. I'll scroll to the right here a bit. Now click the arrow for the menu and you can select from all of the values that are in the user's profiles in my site. As I had mentioned earlier, you can filter on other profile information such as their birthday, department, hire date, their manager's name. For our example, we need to select name. Then scroll to the bottom of the tool pane and select OK to save the setting. I'll scroll up here a little bit and now we can see the filter is working and I only see the two documents that were uploaded by Michael Scott. So to further test this I'll log in as one of the other salespeople who uploaded documents. So go to the user menu, sign as a different user. So this time I'm logging in as Andy Bernard. I'll select OK. And now as Andy Bernard, I only see the documents that I've uploaded. 
If I log in as someone who has not uploaded any documents to this library, it will appear empty. So here you have seen just one example of how this filter can be used to personalize content displayed on a page to a user.